Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Soul Squad. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you guys doing on this Tuesday morning? Tuesday morning check-in. What's up, family? How you guys doing? We got four people and zero thumbs up. Y'all and y'all math. I'm about to give y'all F for math. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good morning, Carolyn. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you. Somebody said, oh, let me go get a thumbs up. Then the fourth person left. Then one person left. <laughs> Oh, man. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How was your Monday night? I know the post has been better. Y'all, I have to... I got to wait till more people come in if I get my apologies. I got to wait till more people come in if I get my apologies. Yes, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. I have to get my apologies, y'all, because... Mmm... Good morning. We know we try to get out thanks to God in. You like, you know what I'm saying? Try to get some more people in here before we get started. Before we get started. It is Tuesday. Hey, Miss D. Good morning. Hey, Beverly Anderson. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. Check in, y'all. Let's see how everybody doing. How you feeling? Well, we know you good because you in here. Because you got woke up this morning. And you know what I would like to do before we get started with anything? Because I know you guys been saying it. Because you've been hanging out with me in the morning. So I know it's been getting done. i like to thank God for waking us up to spend another day with our family and friends. Because that alarm clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get it? Amen. 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 So I know if you're up and you're about, you woke up for a reason. God got you up. Man, get your day started. Find something to do. Make it productive. Because that's my plan. To get a pr productive day after I get some sleep. <laughs> Y'all, I just want to say, and I know everybody's ready for password. I got to apologize. I was sleep. I was out of it. I, I, was, I was out of it. When I got off the heat with y'all yesterday, I told you guys I was going to go to sleep. I never went to sleep. My sister came over. She stayed for a couple of hours. And after my sister left, I ended up being on um, Discord, talking to JD and a couple of other um, Soul Squad members. I never went to sleep. And when I finally got off Discord talking to them, I drifted off to sleep, honey. And when I woke up, it was like 10 something at night. Almost it was like like 10 minutes before 11. I was like, oh my goodness. I was knocked out. I was knocked out. Y'all, my seat pattern is so messed up. So I truly apologize for um password. I I was asleep. I never went to sleep yesterday until around about six o'clock or something. And when I went to sleep, I was gone. Hey, Miss Jess, I ain't wake up till like five minutes to eleven. Oh, the ribs got cooked because I told you I ain't going to see till like six something. You know, I put them on early that day when I was on early in the morning with y'all. So the ribs got cooked. And um, I was, after I got off that uh, Discord with um, J. Dean and I forgot who else was on Discord. We was typing. Um, I was gone because I never went to sleep. I was gone. But then the sad part about it is that when I did wake up at 11, I go by C2 4.30 this morning. I was up on YouTube Live with uh, our girl, just Krista. She was up, she was live, she went live about 2.30 in the morning. And I was over there on the live with them to like 4.30 in the morning on her live. We were just, we, they was asking questions about cooking. We were talking about cooking and seasoning. And they was asking questions about everything. And I was live over there with them. And I told them, I said, y'all, no, it was 4 o'clock. I said, y'all, it's 4 o'clock. I said, I'm about, to, I'm about to go to bed. But when I got off with them, I think I would see about 4.30. But, yeah, so, but I, I feel good. I'm going to see about 4.30 this morning. And I woke up 
Well, I just woke up at 10.30, 10 o'clock, 10.30. So, yeah. What's up, JB? So, I feel good today. I think I did good when it comes to it. So, I want to apologize to everybody who's waiting on um, password. I fell asleep and didn't wake up till 11 o'clock at night. I was, I was just, I was exhausted. Yeah. Hey, Jacqueline. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Y'all, until I get my sleep under control, I, I got a doctor appointment coming up. I just don't understand why, whatever. Hey, West Coast Cali. But that's my burden, my, my thing to bear, but I'm going to get through it. I am going to get through it. How you guys doing? It is Taco Tuesday. Good morning, Keisha. Good morning. How you guys doing? How was your Monday? How was your work day? If you had to leave home, you know, how you feeling work, work waking up this morning? You wake up on a good side of the bed? I was just sitting here, um... I, I, it's a lot of y'all I talk to off camera and on the telephone. I was on the phone with one of my Soul Squad members and um, everything before I got live with y'all. Then I was my sister went live. My sister went live this morning and I was on with her. And um, yeah, we got a lot of decisions to make. That's not going to be. Um, I don't know what to do, y'all. We got decisions to make with our brother. And, and me and her was talking this morning, and my son, and it's like, I don't know what to do. Because y'all know my brother is, um, um, my brother Tutu, bipolar, schizophrenic. It's eight degrees today in L.A. Spring is here. I don't know. Hey, Taylor East, I don't know what time it is, uh, what the weather like here right now. Because, you know, I feel, when, well, I got my windows open. But to me, I guess because I'm in the back, I feel the wind and the draft. It feel like cold air, and I'm like, I be like, turn my, you know, leave my heat on, because I still be feeling cold. I feel like a cold air. But, um, it's hard to make decisions by my brother. Me and my sister got decisions we got to make, and my mother is no longer here. My mother was my brother's caretaker, and so now that's what we're pondering um, so many decisions because what we don't want to do, y'all, we don't want to lose our brother. Um, since my brother, and I'm talking about lose him, I'm talking about in the way of him make, you know, passing or we want to get things right with him because y'all know my brother was diagnosed with diabetes. And by him being schizophrenic, bipolar, he don't understand the, the real essence or the real concern of being a diabetic. And you know, we've been trying, we try, we try to prepare meals for him. That didn't work. Tia cooked him food one. Yeah, he needs extra kid. Tia, but, but me and Tia was sitting thinking that even with the extra kid, he, he his, he's gonna do what he wanna do. Even with the extra kid, he gonna do it's not extra kids for like taking care of him. It's like somebody, because my son there with him. It's like watching over his eating habits and his food and, and stuff. And so we, it's like, we don't know what to do. Me and Tia keep having, yeah, and we, we don't know what to do because it's hard when it comes to eating the food and stuff. He won't eat the right thing. And all of the reasons that he have a di he, that he's a diabetic is that, you know, the foods and stuff that we eat that we intake. I'm a diabetic, but I take my medicine, you know, and I and I really try to watch what I eat some and stuff. But my brother, he won't adhere to it. We tried to do prepare meals, it didn't work. He didn't want to prepare meals. He wasn't eating it. He, he was excited for it at first with the cooking. And then I'm tired of this thing. Y'all keep giving me this type of food and that type of food. And all of a sudden, we try to explain to him, you know, what's going on with his body, the changes and everything. And um, so and my brother, and my son called Tia this morning. It's like, you know, he think my brother's sugar may be up because of certain things that he's doing. You know, going to the bed. My son is watching and he's aware, but he can't 
And when he tried to take his sugar, he won't let my son take his sugar to see where his sugar at. And then when he did try to take it, the needle wouldn't pen um, penetrate his thing. My son said, Mom, this needle won't go through. I don't know what's going on. He said, but I can't get a poke on none of his fingers and stuff. And then, you know, once you try, he don't want nobody to do it again. And it's just like, me and Tim was like, we don't want to lose our brother to freaking diabetes, but we can't get him on board on a significant um, danger of this disease. You know, we try to stay there. And Ted takes him to the grocery store and she buys him, you know, the good stuff. Tell him he can't have this, can't have that. But then he in the grocery store, he want to cuss her out. I'm getting what the F I want. And then, you know, this my money. And, and, you know, and she just sit back and look at him and he buying ice cream, sodas, Doritos, General Toast chickens, um, um, potato chips, cookies, he don't want no water. I bought two big things of 40 packs of water. He don't want no water. And I'm like, I'm like, and so me and Tim was talking. Tim was like, my son Michael saying that we may have to put him in a um in a facility. And I was like, put him in a facility. I said, Tutu ain't gonna go in no facility. He got his own home. What he pay for it at? I said, and um, the only reason we try, you say put him in a facility because we need somebody to make sure that he do what he, my coworker gave me the name, that we do what we supposed to do with him as far as his eating. If we could get his eating, that's our own concern. He won't stop eating. He won't stop it. He won't stop. And it was like, we don't want the nude. Yes, but see, he's strong-willed, Aries. He's strong-willed. He 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 think for himself, and he's a great. He's not gonna he's not gonna go for that. So I was like, man, T and Michael was like, we gotta come up with some type of plan. So T was telling me today, I'm gonna call around so I can get him some type of caseworker. Yeah, uh, you look at him, and I was like, I was like, I don't want him to uh, I don't want him to go. Into, I really don't want him to go into a facility or nothing because, first of all, he got us. People who go in facilities don't really have nobody. He got us. He got my sons. He got me. He got Tia. My uncle is there with him. But we just trying to get on board with the diabetes. He don't understand diabetes. And that's the problem. He, we, can't, we can't get his feeding habit. We can't change his feeding habit. And we don't know what to do. Yes. No, he never took JC. He been stopped taking that. He been stopped taking. He was he been stopped taking that when my mother was alive. He been stopped taking that when he was diagnosed. Um, yes. And when he been stopped doing that. So we try I'm trying to stay positive. We had conversations with him. You know, I I'm I'm like, let my son, I said, let your nephew take your um, your blood sugar. We need to know where your blood sugar at. Where you staying at? You know what I'm saying? Ted, take him to, um, I think he got upcoming appointment. Ted, take him to his doctor's appointment. We just don't want him to, nothing to happen to him. Because, you know, diabetic is very serious and people die from it. And, you know, even the people who, even the ones that we know how to, um, eat and what not to eat and we still sneak and do this and do that. Uh, if, imagine somebody who won't control their eating habits at all. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Imagine someone who won't control their eating habits at all. And like someone said, caregiving is so challenging, and it's and it's challenging with him. Is because he thinks he tell us we don't know what we're talking about. Y'all know what y'all talking about. Y'all know, you know. He listened to us with everything else. We had no problem with my brother. Love my brother. My brother listened to him. Yes, my brother listened to us with everything. We're good. You know, whatever the child is just his food is so challenging. Other than that, we he is so we're good. You know that we love our brother. Our brother love us. You know, he called and checks on me. Hey sis, what you doing? He called me. He missed Andrew because Andrew was there with him. He called every day, calling for Andrew. I'd be like, Andrew at work too too. He's like, oh, tell him to call me over We buy we buy his food. But see, he have access to money. We can't take his money from him. We he's 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 on a set allowance. We give him money. He's on the allowance. We buy his food, but it get frustrated because he goes to the store with you when you buy his food, and when he see you putting all the right foods in the cart, 
it's embarrassing. He be in the store. He'll get to cuss you. He'll cuss you out and take stuff out. And he'll, it's my motherfucking money. And I'm grown. And he'll put all that stuff in the car. And it's nothing you can do but just stand there and just shake your head because it's overbearing. You, we know, we started out, that's why we was doing the meal prepping with them. That didn't work with the meal prep. And so, and then, so, to take them to the grocery store. You know, that it's not working. It don't matter, Michelle. That's the thing. It don't matter. He ain't going to listen to nobody when it comes to that. Nutritionists or anybody. We could, we could take the time and do that, yeah. But that's just one, one going out one ear out the other. He's not gonna. He's not gonna listen to that. He's not gonna do that. It's just that he just don't understand the severity of the disease that he had, and like he said, you know, he just don't. He doesn't. But even if someone else take him, he's still going to do what he want to do at the end of the day. His outcome is we don't know what we're talking about. He's grown and he gonna eat the way he want to eat. He he started off doing good, you know. I was we was making him, you know, doing like baked foods. He likes salads. We was giving him baked chicken, baked fish, um, salad, you know. Till we buying him low. We were still I was, I was buying him water. He didn't want. He just won't drink the water at all. Come on, he took my stuff in the water. You know his his brain and stuff. But um, we was buying him mini made low calorie drinks. We was buying him, buying him crystal lights. They already told him that. They told him that when he was in the hospital. They told him that when he goes to his checkup. They told him that. His, his response is they don't nobody know what they're talking about. When it's hard when you when you caregiving, uh, I'm someone with mental health, um, who had a mental health illness. And he, and it's like, he don't, it just, it's just crazy. And like I said, we don't want him to go into no facility, but we don't want to lose him either to choose no damn diabetes because you just won't eat right. So I told T, um, we going to, we, me and T said, we going to have a talk with him and we're going to let him know if you don't start eating right, if you don't allow us to cook, we're supposed to cook for you. My little sister, father ate himself to death. He was a diabetic. Yeah, I say if you if you don't allow us to start cooking for you, if you don't allow us to do this or do that, we we just gonna lay it out flat to him. I told Tim we just gotta have a serious conversation to him. I said because I don't want him to go in a facility. He's not. It's not. He's not. I say he's not physically harmful. You know, he we we love him. He love us. He listens to us on every other aspects of the world and stuff when it comes to eating. I said, so I don't think that Dean no one to go into a facility like we can't handle them. I said, but at the end of the day, if we don't get his eating under control, we could lose him to be a, to a, to be a diabetic. I mean, my son is there, and he not listening to my son when it comes to food. My son makes sure he take his medication. Like that's what I do. My son get up every day. My son said, my son makes sure he take his medication. My son try to get his sugar. But it's hard to get a sugar count. He, he, Uncle Tutu don't like the, um, he don't want to be poked with the needles. The needles, and when he do let him do it, my son is like, the needles is not poking the skin. And I was like, I don't know. I said, so when we go back to the doctor, I told him, we're going to tell him that for some reason, why is the needle not poking the skin? Because guess what? He's not getting no water in his body. He's not getting the water in his body. I asked Michael, I said, what? I said, I said, Michael, I said, what about the, I bought 240 cases of water. Michael said, mom, that water sitting in that room. He said, he drink a bottle here and there, but two to be buying sodas and juices. Um, yeah, those, it is, Angela. And I was like, oh my God. And so it, it, it's, it's, we, we, we in such a predicament. But I told Tia, we just going to sit down. I said, we, Tia said, we just going to sit down. We're going to have a long talk with him. And, and he'll have to make his decision on what he want to do. Um, like I said, we got some idea of making sure he's getting his medication every day. But can't nobody control his eating habits. Yeah, he liked the crystal light, but he won't stick to it. He only stick, like he stuck to the meal plan. He stuck to our meal plan for about two weeks. It's not funny, but it's a headache. He stuck to our meal plan for about two weeks. 
about two weeks of meal plan work. And after that, he said, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> he make you laugh, but it's not funny. He make you laugh. This is why I pray. Yeah, and that's what we got to do, Tish. He make you laugh, but it's not funny because, because he was like, man, I'm tired of shit. I don't want no more of this pre- I, I want some fried chicken. And, and see, he uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we going to sit and talk to him because he know how to cook. He know how to fry chicken. And, you know, so he buy his party wings to fry his chicken. He wanted to make the... Yeah. Yeah, we'll give it to him. But the thing about it, he's he's capable of cooking his own food. He cap he's not handicapped, so he's capable of going in the refrigerator. And he, and like I said, he's giving an allowance. He has money, and you gotta give him his money. Cause if you don't give him his money, honey, you 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 don't give him his money, it's gonna be a whole situation. So he get a monthly allowance. His bills is paid, and everything is done. He gets an allowance, and when and you gotta give him his money, cause he calls you. The day before the first, like I said, the man is not retarded, okay? My brother is not crazy in that extent when it comes to his money and all that type of stuff. He keeps up with the dates of the month. He calls you. Um, oh, you get our check. I get my check tomorrow, and he want his allowance, and he saves money and all that stuff. It's just that. So he has the ability... Um, um, he has the ability to go to the stores and he walks and go to the gas stations and the corner stores. So even if we, we when we were buying the stuff and as soon as his foot got healed, see this why the um and I'm just another thing and I just realized just now. Yes, he got good sense. Um just when um the the um the food prep was going good, because y'all remember. He had just got diagnosed, so his foot, he got his toes amputated and stuff. So he couldn't walk. He was in recovery. So that's why the meal prep worked for us. He couldn't come down the steps. You know, he was in pain and he was in recovery. So he was being waited on. The meal prep worked then. Tia did one week. I did one week. And I think we got a third weekend. I'm for sure. I think we did get three weeks in. So, but once after he got healed. And he was able to walk around. That's when the food situation got. I'm going to eat what I want. Do what I want. But when he was laid up. The meal prep was good. Yes. So, so the meal prep was good. Yes. And he won't. This, we can't get the cigarettes from him. And then the meal prep was good. Okay, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna actually talk about that, Michelle, to get that. So that's why now I had to just think about that's why the meal prep was successful because he wasn't able to do for himself and he had no choice but to eat the food. And we was doing good with the meal prep. I mean, Tia was doing good. We did, we did um stuff like rice and salad and and, and you know green beans and cabbage and baked fish, baked chicken. Um, what else we was doing? Um, I even, what else? I made something with some gravy. Um, I, we was doing good, you know, and we had the containers and everything. And he was eating this for, um, eating. My son was doing the breakfast. My son was making sure he eat, you know, what he ate for breakfast. And me and Tia meal preps came in with lunch and dinner. And he was, and then you had an uncle just like that. My brother schizophrenic and plenty of sense, but stop taking mouth, his mouth, his mouth for, yes, medicine. Yeah. So that's why, excuse me, y'all. So that's why the meal prep worked good because we we had a, you know, he couldn't really get around. But once that foot got healed, once that foot got healed, it was a done deal. But another thing, no, he don't have no blood pressure issues, thank God. No blood pressure issue at all, Jazz. None at all. It's just he's a type 2 diabetic. But one thing that means here... Uh, but one thing me and Tia said we was going to start doing, I told Tia, let's start ordering his food. I said, let's start ordering his food. I said, instead of taking him, but see, we try to take him. Yeah. <laughs> he did do that, West Coast County, didn't he? <laughs> he did do that. He, he most definitely called me that. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, but, um. I told Sid what we said we might do, 
um, this following month coming up is that instead of taking them to the store, we're going to come up with excuses and say, Tia can't take you to the store. We busy. So we going to um, order your food. Now, if I told Tia, if we order his food, that will make a difference too. But still, with his little allowance that he get, he'll still go to the corner store and get junk food, but it won't be as much as it is. Um, and then he liked, Tia had got him... Um, low fat low calorie ice cream or something because my brother he liked ice cream and so t had got him some some type of ice cream that was good for him he liked the ice cream but when we but when he, we try to take him to the store because that's his outlet you know to get him go out to hang out go to the store uh <laughs> but um yeah so i told t we're gonna order his food I said, we're going to order the food, and that way we ain't got to worry about him doing, well, hey, Bridget, cussing you out in the store, getting loud in the store, and um, and, and throwing stuff in the car. I said, but even though he get his allowance, I said, the little bit of junk food that he probably would buy at the corner store in the gas station, maybe it won't hurt as much because it's like you got, it's like an addiction. You got to wing people off of stuff, especially when they don't understand. So I was like, we're going to order his food on his next grocery um, thing and, um, and we're just going to see what happens. Because we don't mind him having um, the party wings and all that stuff, but what we, we try to tell him is that you got to bake it. He want to fry. And I said, now I was telling Tia, it's not even bad if we could get him like twice a month, we could do him some fried chicken, you know, at the beginning of the month and then maybe at the end of the month. So we could um, wean him off the stuff. Yes. I said the wean him off. I said, because it's just like, we got it. We got it. We, we, if we take everything from him, I got to try to explain it to you. If we take everything from him, cold turkey, it's going to be crazy now. I say it's go I say it's not gonna it's not gonna um go like that. I say and you're gonna get resistance. We oh we don't have an air fryer. That's what I'ma tell T to buy him an air fryer. We don't have an air fryer. He don't have an air fryer. We don't have a microwave either. Yeah, I know, Michelle. Trust me. You know I know, Michelle. You know I know. I, I've been on my journey and, and switching it up and trying to get myself together myself. And I'm in my right mind. So you know I know. Um, that's what I'm gonna tell to you. When we get hit, when he get paid, we're gonna um buy and it's buy an air fry and we can teach him to use the air fry. You know what? Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even, we didn't even think because you know when you're going through it. And you try to think of solutions, you don't think about stuff. And I never thought about an air fryer for him. We could get him one and show him how to use it. I know, but but the fried food is not good. But in the air fryer, when you try to fry chicken, when you do um, air fry fried chicken, it takes away all that grease and everything and flour and all that stuff. And you still get that good taste that you're looking for. But yeah, it is the junk food. For the foremost, it's the junk food. It's the junk, and that's what it is. It's the junk food. It's 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 really the junk food. It's hard to get him off that junk food, and that's and that's the and that's what the thing is. You know, he he buy he want case. He want chips, cookies, um, case cases of sodas and. And, and stuff, and he's just like it's hard to get him to drink water. Now he likes fruit, but um, but now that you're diabetic, it's certain fruits that you can and cannot have. Cause he'll eat fruits and stuff. He loves fruits, but like I say, it's the junk food that we having a problem with. Excuse me, and then oh my God, y'all, this Bama, this Bama loves potatoes. We try and get him all these potatoes. This Bama go to the store. He will he get two 10-pound bags of potatoes. Not one five-pound bag. Tia said this Bama picks up two 10-pound bags of potatoes. And we trying to get him off them daggone potatoes. That's number starch, and it's not good. He wants fried potatoes every morning. 
I don't know. Did he get anything lately? I don't tell. I think maybe he may have done good this month when they went. Because Tia didn't say nothing about his grocery store this month. So hopefully maybe he did good. But I can't get. We, uh, yes, we're going to talk. We're going to ask his doctor about that. Yes. It's y'all, he wants fried potatoes every morning. That starts turning to sugar. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. But like I said, it's it's hard. When you so you've been eating a certain type of food your whole life, you endure this flavor, this taste, and it's hard to make a change. And I say, especially when you're dealing with someone who's in the condition that my brother in, and it's hard to talk to him, and he tell us, and he brush you off with a hand swipe and be like, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. I'm good. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. So, you know, he got his mind set in one direction. But um, I thank you guys. I had to get that off my chest. And it's not that, oh, you um, you telling all your brother's information. First of all, everybody knows that what we went through, that he got, you know, he became a diabetic. Everybody know his mental health status. So that's why I don't feel like I'm not really telling his information because we already talked about it. You guys know. So I'm just telling you now how hard it is, how hard it is to, um, and you like, and we're in a dilemma. And it's things that we don't want to do. That's one thing I'm not going to do. I, but you know, the next thing is that. I was telling Tia, I don't have the space. Our next thing that me and Tia was talking about is moving in together. It's moving in together. Um, that's the only, I told you, that's the only way to we get control of his food is that he might got to live with one of us. That's why I'm to make. And, and the only way to do that, he, he, um, he, uh, it is the um I told T I said we might gotta move in. I said he might gotta live with one of us. I said I got a house full. I said I put my lease up over here. I said even we gonna um I said he do get an income. Good morning, Susie Cool. I said he do get an income. The amount that he is paying for his um the amount that he he paid for his place over there. That's the amount we will continue to charge him if he move in to help supplement some bills. I said, but um, I said that's the only way I see this going is that either he gonna move in with you and Tyreek, it's only two of y'all. Or uh or he or he gonna fit now. I'm gonna have to get a house and well my lease old with and go rent another house because he have to have his own space. He got to have his own space because my brother, he need his own space. So I told him, I told Tia, he, I said, we gonna have, we might have to um do something. I said, when it comes, I said, that's the only thing I could think of. Uh, we don't want to put him nowhere. He don't need to go into uh, no facility. I said, he got family. He got people that love him. I said, his mind is set. I said, a facility will bring him down. Like somebody said, it will make him depressed, not being around family. People regulate him all because just we can't get his food under get. Um, oh, no, he'll move. He'll move. He love come spend night. You know, he's come to my house. He go to tea house. But this is the thing. He don't stay long. Like, he be ready to go home. He'll stay with you like a week or a weekend. Um, but we will have to tell him some stuff like he lost the place or they putting him out or they relocate. <laughs> you know, it's not funny, but you know, you have to lie sometimes to make stuff happen, but a good lie for a good reason. We will have to like tell him that, um, his time is over with in the place. You know, since mom gone, they let you stay here for a certain amount of time. So now the people saying that you got to move. Oh, yeah. Or oh, they went up on the rent and you can't afford, afford it or something. So we'll come up with it. We could get him because he loved he loved being around my sons. Like I tell you, he loved Andrew to death. He loved my sons. He loved his son. He talked to them and he loved being around us. That's no problem. But when he know, since he know he got his own place, after maybe a week or so, he'll be ready to go home. 
But but once we get, we you know tell him about you know when we say we'll tell him, then he know that he just have to be there, and that will help too because I will cook because I do I I I don't fry a lot of chicken and stuff no more. I mean I was frying chicken when I was testing out my flour. Is a yeah though he is good yeah so um. But I eat a lot of baked foods. You know, I, I bake I bake chicken, I bake fish, I boiled chicken, you know, so and I and I cook the vegetables. So yeah, he will his eating habit will most definitely change here. He loves him. Ted don't like seeing him at the grocery store with her. That bamba be gone. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like him at the grocery store, but she can't stand taking him to the grocery store. But that's his outlet. And then, too, I can control his sweets. You know, at the end of the day, even him living with me, I won't be able to stop him from eating his sweets because he getting real nasty. But I'll be able to control it. I be like, Tutu, you had this already for the day. Well, let's not eat no more or something like that. It won't be outrageous as it is now because he on his own. But, um... Cause he'll still he gonna still want his want his potatoes and stuff. But we could do like I said, they got bake. They got baked potatoes. You know, they got baked lays. Oh yeah, well he going to that barbecue with us in June. And those are days like that you can let him like go for it. You know, we at this barbecue, we'll let him go for it that day or whatever. Yeah, so like if he around us, we can let him eat certain things like um Miss um Brooker said in moderation versus him just being at home on himself and just it's a constant around the clock situation. At least we, if he living with one of us, we'll be able to control it more better. You be want everything in the store, Angela. No, so excuse we talk about we gonna lie. Excuse me, because we um because his um eating habits is not good. He's putting himself in danger. Uh and I don't want my brother to leave us, you know, because of something that we could control. We don't want to put him in a facility because like I said, he had family. He has he got people who love him. He got a good support system. He don't need to go in a facility. We just need to strategize on how to get his eating under control. And hey, sleeping star, and the best thing we were just talking about is that. Uh, if he was to live with us, I think that's the way that we could do it. In order to get him to live with us, we have to come up with a story that, you know, his, the rent went up. He can't afford it no more. And so you got to get a place up because he, he don't mind coming to visit us. He don't mind spending the night and staying. But then after a weekend or a week, he'd be ready. Um, You can take me home now. <laughs> he ready to take me home. And then another thing, too. You know, by my brother being the way he is, he's a walker. When I say he's a walker, I mean that my brother, my mother used to have to get, my mother had to get used to it. He likes walking around. He don't stay, my, my, it's a, like when my brother lived at, he walks the neighborhood. Hey, Amy, he walks the neighborhood and everybody in the neighborhood know him and don't nobody mess with him. And, um... And people know his situation and don't nobody mess with him. He walks the neighborhood and he walks the neighborhood late at night. Um, you'll be asleep and he'll go out. But, uh, you know, he got keys. But he, he and, and you worry about he walks the neighborhood at night. He hangs out at this gas station on Willow Road. My son, like, coming home, mom, I saw Uncle Tutu up at the gas station. He been there for hours because he was there when I drove past. And then when I went to take my daughter home, he was still there. And, you know... And he, he walks the gas station. And that's another thing is that we'll be taking him away from his familiar environment. So, too, another thing, if you move into a neighborhood, these neighborhood people, they're not going to know him. And if him by him in the middle of the night walking, walking the neighborhood and walking around, because that's part of his thing, you know, that's what soothes him and stuff. He likes to walk. And he and so if you in a new neighborhood, people going to think that he's some type of prowler. Or he he is some type of situation, you know, may call the police on him. It's this guy walking our neighborhood. Well, I don't know what he up to. And so we so it's a lot. So I was like, you know, it's like you damn you do, you damn you don't, you get a predicament. Then I don't want nothing to happen to him because everybody know him in his neighborhood. They know who he is, they know who his mom is, and and, and they know his situation, and don't nobody mess with him. 
you know. So when you move into a new neighborhood and he like to walk and stuff, you know, people going to be suspicious of this this man 2, 3 o'clock in the morning walking around and may call the police on him and all this other stuff. Right. Hey, D.C. So, um, it's like, but I still rap with him there with us. And we could take that. Chance. That's why I, we get some, got a backyard or a front porch. Now, because when he came to stay with me in my house, I tell him that too. Yes, it can, Susie Q. But when he came to stay at my house, I said, too, too. I, I like that I had that big front porch and I had the backyard and I had the deck. He ain't really walk my neighborhood unless he's like, I'm just going to walk around the block and come back. He'll walk around the block and come back. But for the foremost, he used to sit on my porch. Now, that's another thing. We get a nice size house with a nice size porch. He probably would, hey, true queen, he probably wouldn't walk the neighborhood. Because when he came to my house, he really didn't walk the neighborhood. He sat on my front porch. He sat on my front porch. He was sat on my front porch or he sat on my deck. He really did. And my sister-in-law does the same thing. Everybody knows her. Yeah. And walks everywhere. Yeah. I think it's something in him. Because I remember a Soul Squad member on here a long time ago who said she had a son. And her son was just like Tutu when it came to... It was her son or brother when it came to the cigarettes and um, when it came to walking the... Um, walk in the neighborhood. I think that had something to do with their illness, you know? That's strange how some of y'all can see DC and some of the rest of us can't. But that's good that you, the people that can't see her, to let her know that we're in here. So, yeah, so that's another thing, too. If we do, you did saw her on here the other day. Yeah, I do miss it. I do miss it. Yeah, I think it's a way to manage the anxiety that goes along with the issue, the situation. That's why I think too, too, Jess. So I can, so I can say that, cause when he was me with me, he didn't. And then, but we, at Tia's, um, at Tia apartment, he, um, he, 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 when he go to Tia house, he goes on her patio, or even he goes on her front porch of the apartment complex. So he really did. He don't walk Tia neighborhood even when he go to Tia house. He'll go outside, but he'll go out there and just stand around on the um on on the front porch of the apartment building, and then he'll come back in. So so I think he know that he don't he don't want to walk because it's not familiar to him. So yeah, so that's why I was gonna tell Tia that we gonna have to come a solution is that. He going to live with one of us. And don't play him there with me. I have to get a bigger place. I don't have room for him right now. He wouldn't be. He wouldn't have his own room. And he most definitely need his own room. His own space. Because things that he like to do, you know, he likes to um, listen to the radio. And then, you know, he talks to himself. And, you know, he just need his own space. So, what is this? Oh, 10 channels called New Life Journey. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, she has a good mind and she's a, she's in her own world. Yeah. So, but until this diabetes thing came along, my brother was fine. He was fine. We ain't had to worry about nothing. You know, everything was good. Um, no, he don't live alone. He lived with my, my you know, my uncle there and my, my oldest son is there. But he don't listen to nobody. Because he said we don't know what we're talking about. Michael makes sure he takes his medication, which is very important. He takes his diabetes medication. My son makes sure he does that. But anything else, can't nobody get him to do. Because he's very headstrong when it comes to this food and these sweets and stuff. And, you know, ain't nobody trying to be arguing or get into no argument with nobody. Don't nobody want to get physical and all this other stuff. So it's like, you know, my son only could do so much. At least he is making sure he takes his medication in the morning and, and in the evening time. But um, when it comes to the food, it's hard. It's hard. Even Michael, you know, even if Michael tell him, Mom, Tutu ate this, and I told him he can't eat this, but he going to do it anyway. I mean, he called again. <laughs> Michael called and gave us little reports and all that stuff. That's how we know what's going on because my son, baby, my son called us with the reports and stuff and tell us what's going on. Yeah, that's our problem. So the end solution, Michael said facility. Mom, I think we're going to have to put Uncle Tutu in the facility. Um, I was like, you know, 
He don't need that. No, he don't, Jess. That's why me and Tim, we was talking today. Because before I came on this live, I was on the phone with my sister. And uh, I'm going to call the case manager. He don't have a case manager or anything. We got to figure out how to go about getting all this stuff. Because at the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter about a kid giving. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If he wasn't able the function with that he couldn't get certain food. A kid giver, it doesn't matter. Yes, a kid giver to come in and cook for him, but in the, the day, it's all about the junk food. He gonna tell a kid kid to kiss his ass and mind her business, and she don't know what she talk about. The kid giver ain't gonna be able to do nothing with him. That's basic. Yeah, a kid giver ain't gonna be able to do nothing with him. So that's why I said his kid giver need to be us. When my lease is over with, when they get towards to my lease, I moved in this apartment in December. You know, these months go by quick. I'ma have to uh, I'm gonna have to stay vigilant on this YouTube channel. I'm gonna have to get my money up. I'm gonna have to do what I gotta do because we're gonna be what we are unstoppable, y'all. And I'm just gonna do my part to get these funds up, you know. My son, and then my sons can't live with me forever. You know what I'm saying? My sons can't live me forever. They eventually one day may go on their own. So I don't know what I don't know where their headspace at. But if everybody agreed to, we may just have to rent a house and um with everybody working and everybody working together so that he can hey bird, so he can have his own space and just live with us. That's that's the only excuse me, that's my only outcome I see. That's my only outcome I see is that um yeah, he good. Just let him be. We gonna let him be for now, cause he's not good, JB. Because um, he can't keep eating all the foods that he eating. He he's not good at all. He he's not good at all when it comes to the food. Because like I said, you know, he, people going to diabetic comas. And if you don't know your sugar over five hundred or six hundred, cause you can't get your same test, you going to a diabetic coma. Cause so he's not good. So we have to come up with a solution. Um, so, um, oh, no, that's what you used to think, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, we got, we got to improve his living situation so we can control his diabetes. So that's, that's, that's what we got to do. So, yeah, so that's going to be, in the, the day, that's going to be the result. And, um, we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to order his food and we're going to see what's going to happen. Yeah. And yeah, we gonna order food, and my lease will be old before we know it, y'all. And um, I it'll be old before we know it. We gonna have to find a house. Uh, yeah. So like I said, it um, once I think once we we get together and rent a and rent a house and everything, it'll be good. He come there with me and my boys. You know, more people around him and all this other stuff. Yeah. Oh, your brother lived in a group home, and he's 77, been living in a group home for 30 years. Yeah, he, he the, um, nope. We got to get all that stuff all over again. Hey, I'm Jay's world. We got to get all that stuff all over again. No, Tia don't have an air fryer. I don't have an air fryer. Yeah, Tia do got an air fryer. Let me stop lying. Tia do got an air fryer. We're going to get him one. When we get off here, I'm going to tell Tia, we're going to purchase him an air fryer. That's going to be one thing. We're going to get that air fryer, and I'm going to show him how to um, cook food in the air fryer so that we can eliminate, we can eliminate fried chicken and, and those potatoes and because he can cook fresh. I mean, this is a whole lot, y'all. But I got to get those potatoes out of his life, though. Because, like I said, that been about two 10 bag pounds of potatoes. I got to get those potatoes out of slice. Oh, yeah, time is just flying by so quickly. So, we're going to get him an air fryer. I'm going to um, talk to Tia, and when he get paid, we're going to get him an air fryer and stuff. You know, so we do, we budget his money out good. He get an allowance. And everything, he just, you know, we make sure that he got food, he eat all month long. But it's just that we just got to get this eating under control. That's your weakness too, West Coast Cali, yes. Um, but I think at, at, ultimately what we're going to do um, towards the end of the year, I might end up renting a house. 
And, you know, I got to find a child. This is D.C., Lord. To find a five-bedroom house with a basement. We ain't paying money out of our butts. Yeah. I know, Jay's world, it's not. It is not. But my mother, child, I mean, no harm, but um, me and my sister, we made a plan. We got to do what's right by our brother. Because even at, on my mother's, when my mother was in the hospital, when she was towards the end, my mother wasn't even worried about herself. I hate to say this, but my mother was on her deathbed. My mother wasn't worried about her. You know who my mother was worried about? It's my brother. You know who my mother was calling out for? It's my brother, Tutu. My mother, my mother, my, my brother was my mother's everything. My mother was alive. Everything my mother did, it was all about, I got to make sure Tutu got this. I got to make sure Tutu got this. My mother took care of her son. You hear what I'm saying? My mother took care of her son, Tutu. That's our youngest brother, her youngest baby. And when my mother was when my mother was leaving this earth, what she was thinking about when we went to go visit her, and people told us to come visit her because they didn't know my mother was my I need Tutu. Where's my Tutu? And so me and Tia know that we gotta take care of our brother. My mother will never forgive us. We have to take care of our brother. We have to. Me and Tia said that, you know, told my mother she ain't got nothing to worry about. We have to take care of my brother. You know, like it's sad. Yes. Yeah, so um that's why I said putting him away is no option. Cause my mother wouldn't have done it. And so we can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and my and, yes. It is, but it's call it, and I try to get people. I at this point, I don't. It's not in Atlanta because, from what I'm hearing, I just want to move down south. No, because I'm in Maryland now. He in D.C. At, but don't nobody get it. Don't nobody see the vision, uh, about moving down south. Don't nobody see the vision. At, at the end of the day, if I do it, I would be going solo. Because they so addicted to, to the DMV, to the D.C. area. And I understand Joshua because he has a child. So I understand why he couldn't move. But Michael, he, he's married and he's the man of his family. His wife would do whatever he say, let's do. But everybody, everybody just like, and now Andrew has a child. So I know Andrew wouldn't move. Now I understand the people with children and baby mamas, why they wouldn't move. But all, all the other sons and Tutu and the, I think that will be such a, it, it's more affordable. I'm not even talking about land. I'm just talking about North Carolina, anywhere where the rent is just, have us the, we can have the space, the bigger space for the less money. But I can't get nobody on board. I am willing. I'm not afraid to leave D.C. I did it. I am willing, but nobody else is willing to do it with me. Nobody else, and I most definitely can't handle my brother by myself. That's two things. I can't do it by myself. I must definitely need you know people in the house with me and I and everything. But um, people they they addicted to DC. No matter how hard it it is here, how no matter how much everything costs, they love this DC. Although I don't know, I'm down south and it's expensive here now. See, and that's the whole thing too, Jess. Everywhere is going up. Yeah, it's home for them. Yeah. Mm. I got a cousin that live in live in um Houston. I got two family members in Texas. I had two family members in Texas. He been trying to get me to come to Texas. He live in he live in Dallas. He live in, I think he live in Dallas. I got a, I got a, I got a cousin. He live in, he didn't even live in Houston. He live in Dallas. And I forgot where my little cousin live in, cause she, she didn't got married, got four kids, um, and everything. And she lives. So I got, I got two, I got, I got a family member in Atlanta. I got two family members, two family members in Texas. 
I sure do. And you're right, Texas got them big old houses. The Houston is better. Mm. Hey, all things key. She said, hey, so see, you aren't going to like Houston. I lived in Houston, and it's overpacked and overcrowded. Every time I see a person, I had a slick, I had a slick attitude. <laughs> She said it's overpacked and overcrowded. Every time you see the person, she had an attitude. <laughs> um, that's a no comment situation. Amaze me. Yeah, but um, yeah. Also, Texas is good, but Riverview, Florida is the best. Um, Texas is known for large homes and spaces, and I'm from Dallas, and it is hot. Yeah, I know it's hot, but I can deal with heat loans. I got a good air condition. <laughs> Jess said, not a slick attitude. <laughs> um, I, I can deal with heat. As long as I got good AC and stuff, go to Zulu when you're bored and look at the houses. You can live in suburbs like, um, let me see. Okay. So you said Cypress or Spring or what's that? Katie in Houston. Oh, okay. I look it up. And thank you for get thank you guys for listening. Thank for all the advice. You know, I take everything that you guys take, you know, I take all that information in and I throw it out there to my family. But and ultimately it's like it's this is a whole big family decision now, especially with my brother being involved. Excuse me. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's what my Tuesday looking at. You know, when you wake up, you never know what what issues that you're gonna encounter, but it's how you handle those issues that makes a difference in life. Oh, the um uh, smothering, the heat make you feel like you're smothering. Oh Lord, that's how it y'all um what's it called the um humidity. It'd be the humidity, the humidity that makes us feel that way. Or oh, make the air feel sticky and unbreathable. Oh, then that means you must have a pool in your backyard. Uh, somebody like those areas that you recommend um, on West Coast. Somebody like those areas that you recommend. Yeah, so every day, we never know what situation that we're going to wake up to. God, do not put us in situations that we cannot handle, um, situations that we cannot control. Um, so, whatever situation you wake up to, you know, just, just do your best with it. Don't let it, don't let it overcomplicate you. Um, take it one day, take it one day at a time. Cause this is a situation that we're going to take one day at a time. And two we to, to, we come to the resolution. My resolution already, when I talked to my sister, cause we talked about this early on when he first was diagnosed, diagnosed with diabetes, but we dropped it. Because we thought we was going to get it under control with the meal prep thing. But this is a situation that we talked about before is that we may, he may have to live with somebody. We, 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 we pondered on this uh, once before at the beginning, but we never got into it. But now with this situation being the way it is, I think it's something that we got to pick back up again. Um, it's, I believe it's something that's not out of our control. I believe it's, 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 a, it's an easy solution to this situation. Um... So I'm not going to let it stress me out. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to go with the flow until it's time to make that decision. Um, but ultimately, I know what decision is. And we just got to figure out what direction that we're going to go in with it. That's, that's just how I feel. Um, because I don't think it's, it's going to, it's like, oh, Lord, I don't know what to do. I think we know what to do at the end. Um, it, so we just got to talk about it. Yes, that's a family argument. Yeah, when it comes to our little brother, we don't have no choice but to stand on ten toes. I mean, that's our little brother. We ain't got. We already got another brother out here lost, who don't know that our mom is no longer here. We don't know where he at. 
you know, he's still, he's in the same condition with my brother, but what he don't understand, he never understood that he didn't have to live that way. He, oh, my mother always wanted him home, but he would never come. He all every time he did show up, we was like, you know, you ain't got to leave. You got a home. You don't, my, I got a brother that's out here that's homeless, who don't have to be homeless. But since he is um, schizophrenic, bipolar, you know, his way is thinking him, him and my brother got the same um, outcome, but they, it's different severities for both of them. And like my other brother, he's next to the baby. Tutu is the baby and then it's him. And, um, but with his mental illness, he, he, his don't allow him to be around family. His allow him to come around family when he decide. It's so like, I know, like, he don't know our mom is gone. He don't know our auntie is gone. Between my mom and auntie, those are the houses that he used to, that he's used to run into when he decide that when, when he have like a, a clarity moment in his head and he decide to come home. He don't have nowhere to go to because auntie is gone. He doesn't know that. My mom is gone. He don't know that I'm no longer at that house that I was in because in 2016, my auntie brought him to my house during Christmas, in 2016 with Christmas, and he stayed two days and then he was gone. It's the last time I see my brother in 2016. And, um, but we do know he's alive because every time somebody see him, they call and tell the family, y'all, we just saw your brother Donnell, and he says this such other place, and we'll go to the place when somebody tells us that we saw him, because Tia just recently saw him, but Tia said he denied that it was him. Tia just recently saw him a month ago. Tia called me on the phone, Tanya, hollering, screaming on the phone. I'm like, what, what's going on? I found Donnell, I found Donnell. I said, what you mean you found Donnell? She said, he's right here. She right here, she said, I know my brother when I see him, but but um, he's telling me his name not Donnell. And I, I said, Tia, you know our brother. I said, so that's our brother, that's our brother. And Tia, and Tia said, and it's so much traffic and they have an event down here and I can't turn around. I said, well go around and turn around back up the block for I could see him and she tried to do it and when she did and I, I I got a side glance and I said well call his name or whatever and I said Tia that's him I said Tia that's him I said I know that's him and um and so when we so we know he's alive because we Tia said that was him we know our brother first of all our brother is very distinctive first of all our brother is light skin light, 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 light skin. And our brother has, um, green eyes. He has green eyes. He has gray eyes. His eyes turn green and gray. And you cannot, my brother is very distinctive. You can't mistake him for nobody else because of his looks and, um, and his hair. And, you know, we know our brother, he has beautiful hair. He's really light skinned and he has green eyes. His green eyes pop. His gray eyes, they, they light gray, they pop. And it's like, you just know him. You ain't nobody else looking like him. And so like, and it's not just that alone. You've been around somebody your whole life. You know what they look like. You know, when you see somebody and, um, but Tia said, but he said, no, nah, that's not my name. But Tia said, I'm looking this man right in his face. This is my brother. But I said, Tia, but you know, it's his, um, you know, and it's not, we can't, you know what I'm saying? And we know exactly. Yeah, and so Tia said, well, at least I know he alive. This is like a month ago. Tia said, but at least we know he lied because we call my brother Antoine. And every time we see him, a family message go out. People, friends and stuff. And that's why when our friends call us or my brother friend, people call and tell us, we, we seen your brother. We seen down there. People get excited because we know, everybody know that, you know, he's homeless. He's living on the street. People give him money. People say, oh, I gave him $10 or I gave him $20 or something, but he ain't recognized me or whatever. And, you know, people will give him money and stuff when they see him and they'll call us and tell us where they saw him at and stuff. And we'll go up in that area and he won't he won't be there or we can't find him or something so it's but like i say we get spottings of him we know that he's um so check find him no i don't have no current pictures of him 
No, I do not. We really don't. So, like I said, he don't know our mom is gone. He don't know our auntie is gone. And it's just like... We don't know. So, but, you know, every time we see him, we try to... And, and my brother didn't have to be homeless. I pray for my brother every day. Oh, excuse me. I pray that he's safe. I pray that he alive because he had the type of family with that. My brother didn't have to be homeless. His mental illness made him... His mental health situation made him homeless because he wouldn't stay. When he did come home, we said, my mother used to try to make him stay. And he'll say, like, I'm going to the store. And he'll never come back. And we knew that. He'll stay like a week. And when he used to come and stay, he wouldn't sleep in the bed. He wouldn't sleep on the couch. We'll get up, he'd be on the floor. Balled up in the night on the floor. And I should be like, oh, my God. And my mother and everybody said, because he used to, by him being homeless, he used to sleep outside, probably on grounds and things like that. So when he did used to come, he would never sleep on, you get him blankets and pillows and tell him he could sleep on the couch or if you had a bed, he'll never sleep on them. He always end up on the floor, lay straight out on the floor. So, um, and we enjoy him when he was there. We just enjoy him when he did. When he came home, the, day, the, the, the weeks, he never stayed home longer than two weeks. The most he ever stayed was two weeks. And the last time we seen him was 2016. The most he ever stayed is two weeks. He'll never stay longer than a week or two. And then he'll be like, I'm going to the store, and that store will be another two, three years. He, he done gone to the store. I don't know what fucking store he went to. But he done gone to the store. I'm still waiting on him to come back with his bed. <laughs> because that's what he was always going to the store to get with some dang old bed. <laughs> I'm still waiting for him to come back from the store. It's like the father went and got some milk and never came home. <laughs> that's that's my brother. He went to the store. He never come back. Oh, man. You got to laugh or keep a crying, man. You really do. So I'm telling you, man. Everybody, everybody life got a story. Everybody life got a story. We all got a story. Either we got one or we know someone with one. You know? And that's why. That's why. Because y'all can see. So, don't. When I say I'm going through something. When I say my depression sit in. Don't take it lightly. Don't. I, you know, people be like, oh, Miss T just like saying that. No, this shit runs in my family. And it's in my immediate family, my two brothers, my uncle, my cousin. I mean, this is unfortunately, this our family is hit with this disease. And I try to hold on to my sanity as much as possible. So when I feel myself drifting I, 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 I'm I still in the right mindset that I could bring myself out, out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it does. And I, and I heard you snap the hell up out of it. But it, 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 it is something that is serious. And I do not take lightly. And um, I take heed to it, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. When I tell you that I've been going through this and I'm feeling that, I don't play about this thing. I don't wish it on myself. I don't I don't play about it and I don't lie about it. If I'm going through it, I'm going through it. And that means that it's real. Cause I don't I don't think that is something that somebody should play with. I don't think that's something that somebody should claim over themselves and, and stuff like that. Cause it's it's a real thing. And they could tear you down. Some people can't get back from it. I am lucky and I pray to God and I am lucky that. I can always pull myself out of it. You know what I'm saying? That, and I try to stay focused on it and build myself up and knowing that I don't, you know, so I pray all the time that it doesn't take me out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I pray all the time. So I, I you know, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the mix of this whole this whole mental health, um, mental health thing. That's I'm in the mix of it. I deal with it every day, with self, with family, with everything. 
Shoot. It's a real thing. Who is the... It says, so T, my best friend's son and girlfriend fight her. What can I do, please? My best friend's son and girlfriend fight her. Oh, then she need to, she need to call the police. These are things that are simple, guys. These are things that are simple. These are serious situations. If your best friend is being abused by her son and his girlfriend, there is something called adult protection services. They have that for adults. Just like we protect our children, there is something that protect our adults too. And then you call policemen. If she's afraid, help her get counseling. Stir her towards the right direction. That's the only thing you can do. You got to encourage her to stand up for herself and encourage her to call all these facilities that's a helping hand. Call the police, call Adult Protective Services, and um, call the support system. That's all I can say. That's all the things. I have nothing I can say about that. That's a hard situation. You know what I'm saying? And as her friend, all you could do is encourage her to call these facilities that can assist her and help her with, with her situation. She got to stand on her toes. Oh, JB, stop. Well, it, I'm not sure. If she don't call, you can call four. Oh, yes, we did, West Coast. You wasn't in here, but we could do it again. We could do it again. We, we did. Uh, we know we got to thank God, baby. I be waiting for everybody to come in. You know, our, our people move kind of slow with these notifications because YouTube move kind of slow. So we did our God, but we could do it again before we leave. Because we got, because because I'm telling, we all. Go. You welcome, baby. And that's what you got to do. You got to keep encouraging her because it's not going to change until she allow it to change. So you got to just keep encouraging her and find out about adult protective services in your um. Hey, Tella East. I'm trying to tell her. I, I'm working with the teller. I'm trying to be consistent. Now, I, I, oh, West Coast Cali, and I apologize for last night. I told everybody I never went to sleep after we got off yesterday. I, my sister came over, and my sister stayed. And then once after my sister left, I got on Discord, was talking to Jay Dean and somebody else. I think I want to say Amaze Me or somebody. And we were talking about food. And when I got off that food with them, I went to sleep. And honey, next day I know. It was like 10.50. It was like 10.50. I was knocked out because I never went to bed. And when I woke up, it was like 10.50. Then I didn't go to bed till 4.30 this morning. I was on just Krista. At 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm on a live with just Krista and a couple of her people. And, um... And um, we was talking about food and recipes, and they was asking me food questions and recipe questions, and I had a good little time over there. And then, you know, <laughs> and she loved me, but that damn lovely showed up, and it was curtains. I'm out. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Lovely, she started out real good, and she asked me a question, and I talked to her. The next day I know her, somebody else was out. I was like, I'm out. See? But I had already said I was out before Miss Lovely came in. But um, Miss Lovely, was, uh, I was about to leave, and she came in because she wanted to ask me a question. I answered her question. It was all good. And after I answered her question, oh, man, her and somebody got in it, I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lovely, man, Miss Lovely is, woo. <laughs> but she was sweet to me, so that's all I got to say. <laughs> I was gone, but we had a, it, it was an interesting night. I was up over there, and but I, like I said, we had a good conversation. We was all, we was all talking about food, and we were talking about, they were talking, telling me about the different contests that they had, and um, they were telling me about, they want me to be in a taco contest coming up. Uh, a gentleman giving a taco contest this name. 
Um, and they want me to be part of the taco contest because they said his pot be really big, like a thousand dollars or more. And it's like, so, so you need to go do this taco contest. So y'all think we're gonna have another competition on Saturday? I think I'm gonna join the taco contest and um yeah, and make um tacos. I'm using I y'all gotta come over. So his name is I think the guy's name is Odyssey or somebody. Uh, so I was thinking about those ribs. Jackson ate ribs for breakfast this morning. So, um, y'all, so if I find out today, uh, I'll find out today um, about the taco contest because they encouraged me. I said I didn't want to do it, but they was like, no, Miss T, you got to do it because he has a lot more people over there. His pot be up to over $1,000, and, you know, you, you could probably win that. You should go over there and do the talk. I told him I ain't really into tacos and stuff, but, um, excuse me. But so I say, um, I probably do. I told my let him know. She said, Well, I already told him that you said you was thinking about it. So y'all, I'm I might do a, a taco contest on on um Saturday. I might enter the taco competition. And like I said, I it was fun. You know, I get over there, I just mind my business. I don't say nothing to nobody. I'm gonna show the cooking and I don't mind my business because for one thing, I work too hard on my brain. Um, too hard on who I am as a person to get caught up in any type of YouTube drama or mess. So I sit back and I just um I just mind my business. So um if I do go over there do the um the um taco contest, like I said, it's like I did the other one. I just sit back, mind my business, let them do what they do. And um when they say ask me a question, then I answer it. <laughs> so um she gonna get with me with some more information. And I told her, um, this, um, give me the rules and regulations and I'm going to see. But it's going to be Saturday. Thank you, Sleeping Star. So if I do do it, you guys, I'm going to definitely let you guys know the person's channel and information. But so as well, I can come on over and watch the contest. I mean, because that, that, that is a good way. Because even if you come in first, second, or third, you do walk away with something. And that's a good way to build. Um, I'm trying to go on this trip in June. And I'm trying to buy stuff to go on this trip with June. So that is a good way to um to build extra money by entering contests and winning. Because, you know, first, second, or third, you're going to walk away with something. I don't know who's in that contest. I'm Susie Q. I don't. I don't. So either way, you'll walk away with something. Oh, JB, we going to... um. We going to in June a uh, Father's Day weekend. We going to South Carolina. Um, uh, we going to uh country style pit master barbecue cook off that they give every year. Oh, I can't do it. I got them Simons too. Oh, the, I won one hundred and ten dollars. Yes, I was so happy. I never won anything. I won one hundred and ten dollars on Sunday. Yes. Uh, I won $110 on Sunday, and I was so grateful. I never won anything before. Um, my soul squad came. They showed up and showed out. They made sure I walked away with the win. Show, um, um, soul squad was so on top of it. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. Look at West Coast Cali YouTuber Art Final Country Style. They give this barbecue every year. I want to go so bad, A.B. That's why it was just like I supposed to go this year because a couple of days before I got my notification from his channel, I was just talking about it. I literally was just talking about saying, Dad, I wonder what um are they doing the um barbecue this year? And then, boom, about two, three days later, I got a notification, um, 2024 country style cook off and I immediately turned it on and it was him giving all the information for this year and I jumped on I said I'm going it was meant for me to go I've been trying to go this thing for so long and it, it's a beautiful thing and it's so much fun and I've been trying to go for so long honey we are booked my room is booked, our car rental is booked, my sister room is booked, my girlfriend, her and her family, they room is booked. 
Everybody's room is booked and loaded. Okay, I just got finished talking to another Soul Squad member, Mr. Vince Weaver. Y'all see Mr. Weaver up in here? Me and him was on the phone this morning before I got on here. He, I'm thinking about going. He went last year. And they do amaze me. He went last year and he was telling me that it was so much fun. But he said the traffic is a standstill getting up in there. And But he said other than that, he said... It was so much fun. He said he went, him and his brother and them, they went last year. And then another lady called Sweet Thane, who's a TT Squad member. She said she went um last year. She said it's so much fun. So <coughs> we got people come here. It's like, this will be like a little mini meet and greet for you. I said, we could, it could be whatever we want to be. I'm going to be there. If somebody show up, I don't have no problem meeting them. Um, <coughs> but I'm most definitely going. I'm, I'm waiting to see if my name get picked for the um, vendor. If I could be a vendor there, be selling desserts. Oh, yeah, my cookie lady. Yes. Hey, Tennessee North. Oh, well, girl, I am gone, girl. Let, you know what I'm saying? I am gone. Lord willing. I, I will be there. That's the June 14th weekend. I know where I'm going to be at. Because we, we, we making a whole, we going to Myrtle Beach and everything. So we making a whole good little mini um, four-day vacation out of this thing. Because I haven't done anything, haven't been nowhere since, um, shoot, since Florida. That was 2017 or 18 I went to Florida. That was my last trip. And it's 2024. That don't make no sense. I ain't been nowhere, done nothing. Yes, I'm trying to be amazed, me. I hope I get that vendor spot too, me and my girl. Man, she's going to be selling cookies and her popcorns. And I'm going to be selling, you know, pound slices of pound cake and slices of sweet potato pie. I say sweet potato pie because I'm going to have my grandma Jackie sweet potato pie mixed there. And I'm going to be selling that. And I'm going to be, um, you know, I'm going to get some copies of my JJ Adventures. Um, a children's book, I'm going to get some copies of that, and I'm going to be selling that. I'm just going to be like, we get this stand, it's just going to be lit. It, it's just going to be lit. And But like I say, if I don't get the stand, I'm still going. I'm still going. I'm there. I'm in. I'm, I'm going just to have a good time. And I guarantee you, y'all folks who don't come, I'm vlogging. It's like we going from the 14th to that from that Friday to that Monday. Y'all, I am going to have plenty of vlogging. Now, I'm just a heads up. Y'all know that um that y'all know that um they're going to be playing all kinds of music. So some of my vlogs may be, be muted and I'll be doing voiceovers. Y'all probably be seeing the people action and moving and all that stuff. Because, you know, one thing we're going to do is that we're going to be out here making these coins. So, you know, we're going to be vlogging these events. And when you have barbecue, you know, they're going to have all types of music going on. I probably come in. I probably, the vlog is going to be like a few seconds and you can hear what music being playing then i'm gonna mute that thing and y'all just it's gonna be a lot of visuals and seeing stuff with my voice you know with my voiceover and stuff but if we gonna get some vlogging in yes that's a june teeth week too it said are you selling sweet potato pie or the Oh, the minor. I'm going to do both. I know. I'm not selling the whole pie. I'm going to sell the slices. I'm going to be selling slices. So I just got to know. Oh, I'm in hot. Oh, Lord. What was the problem with that chick tea? What chick? Hey, Faith, how you doing? Hey, Faith. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but um, it's going to be a good sign for everybody who can make it, who can't make it. I'm most definitely going to bring y'all with me with the vlogs. I'm most definitely going to do the I'm going to make my sister vlog, too. I'm going to make my sister vlog, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tia gets so mad at me when I make her vlog. I'm gonna make her vlog too. I'm make oh shit. I'll make her vlog too. <laughs> yeah, but um, so I'm gonna keep y'all posted about the um about um the taco. I'm gonna get all the information. I think I'm gonna join um the um the guys was very yeah happy to I'm um, Tuesday to you too, Stacy. Yes, Juliet's going. Mm -hmm. I gave her the information. I got a call. I'm gonna call today too since she booked. I gave her the information. So that's that hopefully she is going. She said she wanna go. I gave her the information. I gave her the hotel information. She said she's gonna book it, so I hope so. Um, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, it's, um. So, yeah, I, um, y'all can hot. What the hell? I don't know what's going on. Well, I already know what, I already know what's going on. I'm having the flash. Or even I feel the heat, the vent right there. I think the heat came on. I don't think I'm having no flash because I feel heat. I think they need to cut that. I think that's the heat. Since you don't know when to have it on, to have it off. And, and I'm right here by this vent. I don't think it's no flash. That's the heat coming up out of there. That's what's coming up out of there. Making me hot all of a sudden. Today is a reality wellness check. And yes. No, it's a one-day cookout. We're making a weekend up because we're there. So it's a one-day cookout on um on Saturday. And um I don't got no water, Michelle. I drank my water because I took my medicine before I came on here when I last of the water I had. Um it's a one-day cookout. Mm, that's why we're making a weekend now because we're not leaving until that Monday. So that Friday, we gonna um we gonna check in, go out to dinner. That Saturday, we gonna be at that event all day Saturday, and then that Sunday, um we're gonna go to Myrtle Beach out to dinner, and then we gonna check out on Monday. And they had a great and just have a great old weekend. Let's have a great have a great old weekend. You made pancakes with the sweet potato pie mix, Miss Wilder. How did that come out? Yeah, so that's the whole plan. But we now, yes, that's how long I think I've been watching him too for Natural Sixty Five for about three years, and I love everything about his channel. I'm addicted to his voice. His voice is so soothing. Um, there's nobody on his channel that I could say I don't care for. Everybody that he puts on his channel, they are so friendly, outgoing. You know, they just seem like some good old people. There's no one that ever been on his channel I could say, oh, I don't care for that person. He, he always had nice and genuine people on his channel and from his friends i love the family yes his nieces his nephew his friends it's nobody he ever bought on that channel i could say i turned my lip up at or they made me feel some type of way he he got good folks around him that's why i want to go because he, he got good folks around him and everybody just seemed they just seem to be like man i could party with these people I, I was like, yeah, I get down with these. They, they some good people right here. So yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, I must definitely gotta go to this because it's a whole, it's a whole vibe on his channel. Okay, and I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> it's a whole vibe over there. So like I said, Lord willing, living life day by day. I'm, my, I'm, I'm hoping to live up to my plans. You know what I'm saying? The, this, this is the plan. We done set things in motion. We done booked stuff and set stuff in motion. So this is our plan for the that June 14th weekend. This this is the plan. Like I said, I ain't been nowhere, done nothing. I'm trying to get out the house, y'all. I'm trying to get up out this house. 
I'm trying to do something. And like I know too, the Myrtle Beach thing, I had told my friends, uh, yes, good old cussing Jism. Man, I love Jism. I'm sorry. He, he'll cuss you out in a minute. Jism, man, he ain't got no cut cards. I love him all. Um, only thing about the Myrtle Beach is might be up for me. Like I told my sister, you know, because since, you know, I do battle with arthritis in my legs. And I say it depends on what type of tension and stuff I put on my legs on Saturday, whether or not I'll be able to go to Myrtle Beach with them on Sunday. Because if I put a lot of tension on my legs and my legs may swell up and they don't do too good out of that whole event on Saturday, I won't be able to go to Myrtle Beach. But I said, that don't stop y'all from going. I said, y'all can still go and I'll just be in the bed because what I will have to do because by you having arthritis and you driving, we already in a five and a half to six hour drive there. Um, I'm already have I'm have to make sure my chair is all all the way back. You know, when you got arthritis, you can't have your legs and knees bent up either. And so I haven't been I haven't drove in such a long distance, such a long time with my legs. So I'm also preparing myself with my legs and everything for that for that long distance drive. You know, I don't want my legs to swell up on me. You know, for some reason. When you have fluid and you have arthritis and stuff like that in your legs, and you take a long drive, your legs and stuff will tend to, fall, to swell up and stuff. It never happened to me before, but my legs had never been this haven't haven't been in this state that they're in before either. Um, so, um, you know, so I was telling my sister that you know I'm prepared for the drive with my legs and circulation and everything, and I said and then plus once I get to that event on Saturday, it depends on you know. The walking and the being around and how much how my legs hold up on whether or not I will go to Myrtle Beach on Sunday. I may not go. I say it all depends, but that's the plan. I'm talking it into the system. Oh, get some. And you know what? I seen some on IG that I screenshot. Uh, might have to knock someone out there. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> oh, thank you, Miss Natural Sixty Five. Thank you. So I'm I'm hoping to I'm hoping to enjoy the whole weekend itinerary with everyone else. But like I told everybody. If if I, I know who I am as a person, I know how my body operates. So if my legs do go through what they go through, I won't go to Myr Myrtle Beach. Because what I need to do, God said, because what I would do, I would stay in the hotel all day Sunday with my legs up, taking pain medication to prepare myself for the ride home on Monday. So I said, but I don't want to stop anybody else having a good time. I don't mind. Um, staying in a hotel by myself on Sunday if I had to. Oh, I ain't doing no more edibles. I did edibles. Remember I told you I did edibles for my, um, for Wood's birthday? A uh, name his channel is called Country Style. Amazed me. It's called Country Style. Well, they not on the ones I'm going to get. It's not, it's not on Amazon. I, and I didn't do the Amazon wish list because, um, I ain't know how to do it. I ain't know how to do it. So I said, since I got that old, um, and I'm going to do it, West Coast Cali. I keep forgetting. I'm going to, because on West Coast Cali, let me put my stuff on. Um, I'm going to put it on my um, housewarming gift list. Um, gift, gift list. I'm going to work from that. Because I tried to do the wish list, and I tried to do it for two days. It just was, I didn't know how to do it. But I know how to do the registry for the, um, housewoman so i said i'm just going to add everything to the housewoman registry and we could go from there <laughs> stop go ahead uh tennessee no she said hey girl i'm coming with my scooter if you need it, i got you <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the one with the the one for the housewarming. I'm gonna put the stuff on that one. I'm I'm gonna put it on that one. That's why I said I was gonna do West Coast County. Yeah, um, <laughs> she funny. I was like, answer my question. I forgot what that person said. Oh yeah, this channel is country style and um. Oh yeah, but those stockings I saw on Instagram and I screenshotted it and they I'ma get those. I'ma get two pair of them. They look they look good. They had the quarter ones and they had the full length ones. And uh I'ma get two pair of two pair of them. Yeah, those compression stuff. I'm I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna have a good time. We gonna have a good time. We're gonna have fun, y'all. We 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 gonna have fun. Yes, Miss SNS said hey to everyone who just came in the chat. But guys, I'm about to be about here because guess what? It's the wish list for the cookout. Um, cause everybody asked me, cause I told them I want to get a tent, I want to get a chair, I want to get a cooler. A lot of my soul squad members told me do the wish list and put it out there so people could help me buy things to take with me to the um cookout. But um, I was saying that I and I supposed to do this. I move so slow in doing things. Um, and when I did try, I couldn't get the wish list. I didn't know how to do it. So I do have a housewoman registry up. So I'ma add it to the housewoman registry and share that link. Ah, uh, yeah. And, and share the link. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the items to the housewoman registry and share the link. And, and anyone who feel free, no one is obligated. But anyone who feel free, you know, thank you so much for the suggestion. And, um, and I'm going to put it up. But I'm still, too, because one thing, I'm not going to depend on everybody or anybody. I am going to work towards trying to get things myself. Um, you know, I do have into June, so I am working, I am going to work towards to try to get some stuff myself. And yeah, you most definitely want to be comfortable. And with my legs and my situation, I say I have to be comfortable. Well, those socks, the ones that I want, they, um, um, they're on Instagram. I'm a, I'm going from Instagram. I'm not even worried about the scooter because I like, I barely, I walk good. It's just that I can't stand a long time or I can't do a lot of activities. So I can walk. It's just how long I could walk for or how long I could stand on my legs for. I most definitely cannot do long lines. I can't stand no more than like 15 minutes in a line. After that, I'm, I'm, I'm done. So that's yeah. So I I I could I could literally walk, but it's just that I can't stand a long time on my legs, and uh, they'll they'll start hurting, they'll start swelling. I can't do lines or anything like that. So um, that's why I was telling um, telling my sisters that too. You know, a lot of these lines gonna be long at these pit masters to try to taste their food. So I said, don't trust and believe. I'm not going to be in everybody's line trying to taste every pit master food. I say, I probably just end up doing one or two pit masters and uh, walking around doing some footage and then going back to my tent, especially if I don't get picked for the um, vendor. So um, I said, so I already know I won't be doing a lot of lines, but I just want to be there to see the camaraderie, to see the look on people's faces and to see everybody having a good time. You know what I'm saying? And I said, and I do want to you know, I, I would love to meet Art because I'm going to be trizzling. <laughs> I got to get my trizzling in because I'll make sure I do that. So if y'all know what trizzling means, this is something that Art has. If you follow him, you know what trizzling means. Oh, get the name off Instagram and see if Amazon have it. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I can't wait when he comes to me to talk about art. You know what? I've been watching you for so long. And you know what? You got me what? Translated. <laughs> I can't wait. Y'all just don't know how big a fan I am of this channel. I'm a fan girl. Yeah, I might do YouTube. Yeah, I might be an influencer, but I am a fan girl. I have some favorite YouTubers that I love and that I like. And his channel, I am a fan girl. So, <laughs> so.
So I'm most definitely going to be, man, I just can't wait. So yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a whole lot, a whole lot. I, so I just can't wait. I know it's gonna be a good time. I know it's gonna be a good time. So um, I, I'm I'm ex I'm very I never been excited about anything this much when it comes to taking a trip. Yep. Yeah, so um, I'm out of here, y'all. Um. Somebody said um. But these are supposed to be some real good ones. I'm gonna share this. I'm gonna share the, the link that I saw on um <laughs> Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> hey, I got no reason for anybody to mention me, Miss Face, but I do understand. I I like I said. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't get nobody's mess. I just sit back and listen and wait till it's my turn and, and present what I got to present. And that's it. What everybody else got going on, that's their mess. I don't want to comment on nothing. Like I said, I done, built, I, done, I done built on this YouTube platform for too long and then built my brand up for too long to destroy it in anything. And that still don't stop me from participating and enjoying other people's channel. What people do and say, that's on them. That's on their own spirit and that's on their own reputation. You know, I just sit back and I look and I watch and I'm quiet and, and have no commentary about anything. People, people, people can destroy their own self. I don't know, but I don't want to be part of nothing. But like I said, I enjoy meeting everybody. It was a fun experience. I, you know, I never won anything before. And like I said, you know, I don't, I'm just going to, just going to be me. Uh, I'm just going to be me. And I'm not going to let that stop me from doing anything. I just know, I know how to handle myself. And, um... And um and I know how to act in certain situations stuff. So yeah. I know. Oh no. I, I hope I get to meet him. West Coast Cali is so many people out there, and he's only one person. I don't even know if he could get around to everybody, but I hope I get to meet him, get to meet somebody. I hope I get to meet somebody. I, but I really want to meet Art. I really want to meet Art. Uh, I, 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 but I love Jism. I love Dragon. I love them all. I wouldn't care if I get to meet any of them. I understand, Susan Q. She said, I know you don't want to mean to keep talking about it. It was a shock. I think it was a shock for me, too. But um, no, actually, it wasn't because I saw, the, I saw a video the day before. But, um, you know. We, remember, that's something that's out of our control. If we can't control it, we don't worry. But don't let, don't let nobody else's stuff be a stress on you. It, it, when stuff is out of your control, it's out of your control. You got to move on from it. You got to move on from it. But, yeah, let me go, y'all. I keep saying I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. Let me get my butt up off the head. Yes, he is very handsome. And that voice don't help either. He handsome and that voice. Whoo! That voice is like, that voice is like, yes, Art, uh, we don't know if he's married and he got a girlfriend, he don't got nothing, I don't know, but I just love him as a person, I love what he brings to YouTube, I love his family, I love his friends, they just, they just got a whole vibe going on, they just, they just got a whole vibe. They just got a whole vibe going on over there, and it's and it's interesting, and it's and it's very welcoming. They're very welcoming. Yeah, I don't know if Art Cook though. It's I never seen him cook. That is that is crazy that you brought that up. I never seen him cook. I think it's just the people around him. And his family, I don't know if Art is a barbecuer. That's very interesting. 
He built his channel up around the family and the barbecues and the um the little Jew joint they had. I was like, nah, go watch him ball the egg. <laughs> he said, go watch him ball. He balled the egg. <laughs> uh, B. Allen said, he can't cook. <laughs> See, I knew. I had never seen that man on that grill. <laughs> or in Jizzle Kitchen when Jizzle be cooking. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but it's a whole vibe. I think you guys will enjoy him. You saw him ball of egg at me. I got to find that one. I got to find that one. Now, I got to know. Yes. They say he can't cook. He did an episode of him balling the egg. I'm going to have to type that in and see can I find that. Because I, 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 I never wondered. That was a good. I never wondered. Happy Tuesday, everybody, by D Queen. Um, happy Tuesday. <laughs> By West Coast Cali. <laughs> you think it's on his birthday video? Okay, most definitely check that out. Yeah, all right, guys. I'm out of here. Happy Tuesday, guys. I love you so much. I am gonna get the wish list up underneath my underneath my um housewoman registry. So I'll repost the housewoman registry, guys, uh, um, in the community page on my vlog channel. In the community page on my vlog channel, and um I see you guys on hump day. I see you guys on hunt day. I love you guys so much. Have a great Tuesday. Yes. It was a funny bit. I got to check that. Susie Q, get on Discord. I got to ask you about the show, girl. What you think? I'm about to, I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to go get on Discord. All right. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, no, boo. <laughs> I saw you, Shelly B. There's no confusion on my end. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. We got you, boo.